Today's topic is polycystic ovarian syndrome, or PCOS. The polycystic ovarian syndrome is a hormonal condition that affects women of childbearing age. This condition affects the ovaries, the reproductive organ that secretes estrogen and progesterone. Eggs are released by the ovaries to be fertilized by a man's sperm. The release of an egg every month is referred to as ovulation. The hormones that control ovulation are the follicle stimulating hormone or FSH and the luteinizing hormone or LH. The ovary is stimulated by the FSH to produce a sac that contains egg or follicle and as well triggered by the LH to release a mature egg. The polycystic ovarian syndrome is characterized by the growth of fluid-filled sac inside the ovaries. These sacs are follicles containing eggs that never mature enough to trigger ovulation. The absence of ovulation disrupts the level of estrogen, FSH, LH, and progesterone, causing them to be out of balance. This can affect the menstrual cycle and lead to infertility. Women with PCOS produce androgen, the male hormones, that are higher than normal. Causes Doctors don't know exactly what causes androgen. Factors that may play a role include Gene Studies have shown that certain genes can be linked to PCOS. Insulin resistance Women with this condition have insulin resistance. For example, their body fails to respond normally to the hormone insulin. This causes the body to demand more insulin. Extra insulin is one of the leading factors that triggers the ovaries to produce more hormones. Obesity is a major cause of insulin resistance. Inflammation Obesity can also contribute to this. Research has linked excess inflammation to a higher level of androgen. Symptoms The most common are irregular periods, excess hair growth on the face, back, belly, and chest. More than 70% of women with PCOS have excess hair growth. Weight gain headaches, dark patches of skin on the neck and under the breast, acne, male pattern baldness. Diagnosis and treatment. Your doctor may start diagnosis by discussing your medical history, including weight changes and menstrual period. A physical examination would follow and will include checking for symptoms such as face and body hair growth and acne. Your doctor may then recommend a pelvic exam and an ultrasound to look for any masses, growth, or other abnormalities in your ovaries or other part of your reproductive tracts. Blood test to check for raised level of male hormones or androgen. Additional blood testing may be carried out to check cholesterol, insulin, and triglyceride levels to rule out the possibility of related conditions like heart disease and diabetes. Treatment. Treatment is focused on managing your concerns, such as infertility, excess hair, acne, or obesity. This usually involves lifestyle changes and medications. The doctor may suggest a weight loss diet with moderate exercises. A healthy diet with exercise is beneficial and can lower your risk of diabetes and heart disease. Medications to regulate the menstrual cycle, to help you ovulate and to reduce excessive hair growth may be recommended. For menstrual cycle regulation, medications may include progesterone therapy. To help you ovulate, the doctor may recommend clomiphene, letrozole, and gonadotropins. To reduce hair, your doctor may recommend birth control pills and electrolysis. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.